Founded in 1923 as a small cartoon studio, Disney quickly grew into a major player in the entertainment industry. The release of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in 1937 marked a significant milestone as the first full-length animated feature film. By the mid-20th century, Disney had expanded into television with Walt Disney's Disneyland, which also helped promote Disneyland, the company's first theme park. Expansion and innovation Disney continued to innovate through the 1950s and 60s, creating beloved animated films like Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, and The Lion King. The company also opened new theme parks, including Walt Disney World in Florida. However, the 1970s saw a decline in output and creativity until Michael Eisner took over as CEO in 1984. Under Eisner's leadership, Disney revitalized its movie studio and launched successful new ventures, including Touchstone Pictures and Hollywood Pictures, which produced hits like Pretty Woman and The Sixth Sense. However, by the 1980s, Disney's creativity waned, leading to a period of stagnation. The appointment of Michael Eisner as CEO in 1984 marked a turning point. Under Eisner, Disney expanded its movie production and launched a second golden age of animated films with hits like, The Little Mermaid, and, The Lion King. Disney also ventured into book publishing and Broadway, showcasing its diverse entertainment capabilities. Strategic acquisitions and growth in 1995, Disney acquired Capital Cities, ABC, which included the TV network ABC and ESPN. This expansion into various media forms demonstrated Disney's commitment to growth. Bob Iger, who became CEO in 2005, further transformed Disney by acquiring Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and 21st Century Fox. These acquisitions brought valuable intellectual properties and a vast content library, setting the stage for Disney's dominance in the entertainment industry. Entering the streaming arena recognizing the shift towards streaming, Disney terminated its content deal with Netflix in 2017 to focus on its own streaming services. Disney acquired a controlling interest in BAM Tech to facilitate this transition. ESPN Plus launched in 2018, followed by Disney Plus in late 2019. Disney Plus offered a vast content archive, including beloved classics and new original programming like, The Mandalorian. The Fox acquisition also provided Hulu, enabling Disney to bundle Disney Plus and Hulu, enhancing its competitive edge. The launch of Disney Plus marked a new chapter in Disney's storied history. With strategic acquisitions and a commitment to leveraging machine learning, Disney Plus aimed to thrive in the competitive streaming market. The role of machine learning Disney pondered how ML could propel Disney Plus to success. Netflix's use of ML for optimizing content, recommendations, and streaming quality had been instrumental in its growth. Disney Plus needed to harness ML similarly to personalize user experiences, predict viewer preferences, and ensure seamless streaming quality. Disney knew that effective ML strategies could help Disney Plus stand out in the crowded streaming market. As Disney Plus prepared to enter the streaming market, the company faced significant challenges but also had immense potential. Disney's rich history of innovation and strategic acquisitions provided a strong foundation. By effectively leveraging machine learning, Disney Plus aimed to offer a superior user experience, attract and retain subscribers, and compete with established streaming giants. Gupta's insights and the strategic implementation of ML would be crucial in helping Disney not only survive but thrive in the competitive streaming age. Machine learning and data, the backbone of streaming success artificial intelligence, AI, is an umbrella term for various computer-enabled activities such as robotics, image recognition, speech comprehension, and machine learning, ML. Although AI was conceptualized by British mathematician Alan Turing in the 1950s, it wasn't until the 2010s that advancements in computing power, algorithm development, and data availability made AI practical and widely accessible. Machine learning, a subset of AI, involves using historical data to make predictions. By analyzing large amounts of data and leveraging sophisticated algorithms to find patterns, ML can develop models that create value for businesses. Essentially, ML helps answer three critical business questions. 1. Which of these things are similar? 1. 
Descriptive, classification, segmentation, or clustering analytics. 1. For example, identifying shared characteristics of the most valuable customers. 2. Which are most likely to act in a certain way. 2. Predictive analytics. 2. For instance, predicting which customers are most likely to make a purchase in the near future. 3. How can we affect outcomes? 3. Prescriptive or causal analytics. 3. For example, determining strategies to increase customer purchases. Scientists use a combination of data and algorithms to construct models. These algorithms range from simple regressions to deep neural networks that mimic the human brain's information processing. The program used by Gupta's team could run multiple algorithms simultaneously on the data, providing statistics on the fit and accuracy of each algorithm for the given task. The importance of data in machine learning data about the attributes associated with an entity is crucial for the functioning of ML algorithms. If the entity is a machine on a shop floor, relevant data might include its age, manufacturer, temperature, runtime, throughput, and vibration. Each entity is tagged with attributes, some manually created by humans, some automatically collected, and some assigned via other AI. Metadata, an underlying layer of information describing the data, often makes it easier to use. Customer data is extremely valuable, typically, the more, the better. Companies gather data about their current and potential customers to leverage ML tools and create new value. Data can come from three main sources, first-party data, collected directly by a firm through methods such as websites, surveys, or loyalty programs. Second-party data, collected directly by a firm and then made available to other firms. For example, the extensive user data collected by Google, Facebook, and Amazon, which they make available to advertisers. Third-party data, aggregated by firms that did not originally collect it. For instance, companies compiling lists of people whose auto lease or cell phone plan would soon expire and then selling that information to interested companies. Learning from Netflix, a machine learning pioneer over the past decade, Netflix had masterfully used technology to build its customer base and optimize its offerings. Netflix's machine learning success Netflix pioneered the use of ML to enhance its content recommendations, improve streaming quality, and understand viewer preferences. By analyzing vast amounts of user data, Netflix could predict which shows and movies would be popular and tailor recommendations to individual users. This personalized experience kept subscribers engaged and coming back for more. Netflix's algorithms also optimized streaming quality by adjusting video resolution based on a user's internet speed and device capabilities. This ensured a smooth viewing experience, further boosting customer satisfaction. Netflix and Machine Learning – Transforming the Entertainment Industry The beginnings of Netflix American entrepreneur Reed Hastings co-founded Netflix in 1997 as a mail-based DVD rental company. His frustration with late fees for video rentals at traditional brick-and-mortar stores inspired the idea. Under Netflix's initial model, users could select new DVDs once they mailed back the ones they had already rented, with no time limits or fines. Hastings, a mathematician and engineer, shaped Netflix to prioritize technology development from the start, aiming to improve user experience and encourage regular usage. Early adoption of machine learning in 2000, Netflix introduced a recommendation system. This system incorporated data from users' profiles, their movie ratings, and the ratings of similar users to suggest new titles they might enjoy. By 2006, Netflix announced a $1 million prize for anyone who could develop an algorithm that improved the accuracy of its recommendation system by 10%. Although the prize was awarded in 2009, Netflix never incorporated the winning algorithm. By then, Netflix had shifted its focus to building a video-on-demand streaming platform, introduced in 2007. The effort required to integrate the new algorithm did not justify its value as Netflix engineers noted, our focus on improving Netflix personalization had shifted to the next level by then. Expanding into original content through the 2010s, Netflix played an increasingly active role in producing its films and shows. 
In 2013, Netflix became a distributor of original TV shows, acquiring rights to House of Cards and Orange is the New Black. It expanded into studio-like production with its first original TV series in 2015, and Stranger Things, the first Netflix-produced TV series to become a hit, debuted in 2016. Netflix's spending on original content skyrocketed from $2.4 billion in 2013 to an estimated $15 billion by 2019. Continued reliance on machine learning throughout its expansion, Netflix continued to rely heavily on ML to enhance its recommendation accuracy, content quality, and overall user experience. In 2015, Netflix invested nearly 10% of its annual revenue in technology and research. An analyst observed that Netflix hired about three times more engineers than HBO, predicting that Netflix would master programming before traditional media companies could fully understand digital streaming and cloud technology. Innovations and user experience In 2017, Netflix introduced a coding upgrade that allowed some scenes to stream more efficiently on phones, minimizing delays and enhancing the viewing experience. In 2018, Netflix experimented with interactive programming through Black Mirror, Bandersnatch, a sci-fi movie with multiple endings, which won the 2019 Emmy Award for Outstanding Television Movie. Machine learning driving growth and retention Netflix's ML-driven recommendations accounted for an estimated 80% of the TV shows people watched on the service. As Netflix transitioned from a mail-based model to a streaming service, its recommendation system relied more on user behavior data. This included not only the content users watched but how and when they watched it, what they watched immediately before and after, and various other behaviors. Netflix staff tagged shows with detailed attributes, such as plot details, setting, and cast, which were combined with behavioral data to generate recommendations. Netflix's VP of Product Innovation explained in 2017 how ML played a crucial role in understanding user behavior. How much should it matter if a consumer watched something yesterday? Should that count twice as much or ten times as much compared with what they watched a whole year ago? How about a month ago? How about if they watched 10 minutes of content and abandoned it or they binged through it in two nights? How do we weight all that? That's where machine learning comes in. Creating taste communities Netflix identified roughly 2,000 taste communities by inferring tastes from user behavior and the behavior of similar users, rather than relying solely on user-supplied information. This approach allowed the system to identify content that might not be obvious fits for users. For example, one in eight people who watched a Marvel show on Netflix in 2015 had never before watched a comic book-based show on the service likely due to a Netflix recommendation. Data-driven content development Netflix used ML to understand the characteristics that make content successful. This data-driven approach sometimes influenced script development. Kerry Fukunaga, the writer and director of the Netflix miniseries, Maniac, explained how Netflix's data could guide creative decisions. Because Netflix is a data company, they know exactly how their viewers watch things. So they can look at something you're writing and say, we know based on our data that if you do this, we will lose this many viewers. While ML had the potential to subordinate creative risks to audience retention, it also promoted risk-taking and creativity. Harvard Business Review noted that Netflix's data helped it assemble the best collection of movies and shows to meet each viewer's needs, rather than micromanaging content. Competitive advantages and industry recognition Netflix's ML-driven model created efficiencies in show development and production, achieving a renewal rate for original shows roughly three times that of legacy TV networks. This efficiency, combined with high subscriber retention, saved Netflix over $1 billion annually. Netflix's model also gave writers and directors the freedom to produce high-quality shows, leading to 112 Emmy nominations in 2018, the most of any network or streaming service. Personalized thumbnails and viewing experience beyond content recommendations, Netflix personalized the user experience by tailoring thumbnail images for selecting shows. Starting in 2014, Netflix spent two years developing a system that created multiple thumbnails for each show, displaying the image most likely to attract a specific viewer. 
Effective thumbnails typically featured expressive faces, complex emotions, villainous characters, and no more than three people. This approach significantly increased overall streaming hours and engagement. ML also helped Netflix predict high demand periods and employ adaptive technologies to minimize streaming lags. By 2019, Netflix accounted for nearly 13% of downstream streaming traffic on the Internet, about twice that of Google's YouTube. The role of data and machine learning Machine learning has been integral to Netflix's success, enabling it to provide personalized recommendations that account for 80% of the content viewed on its platform. By analyzing user behavior, such as viewing habits, watch times, and previous interactions, Netflix can predict what users want to watch next. This personalized approach keeps viewers engaged and loyal, reducing churn rates and increasing overall streaming hours. Future implications for Disney Plus as Disney Plus aims to compete in the streaming market, adopting a similar ML-driven approach can provide a significant advantage. By leveraging data to personalize recommendations and enhance the user experience, Disney Plus can attract and retain a larger audience. Additionally, using ML to inform content development can help Disney Plus create shows that resonate with specific viewer segments, increasing engagement and satisfaction. Final thoughts The success of Netflix demonstrates that integrating machine learning into a business model can drive substantial growth and innovation. For Disney Plus, embracing ML offers the potential to not only compete with but also excel in the streaming market. By focusing on personalized user experiences, data-driven content development, and leveraging technological advancements, Disney Plus can harness the power of ML to achieve long-term success in the ever-evolving entertainment industry.